Welcome to Mighty Machines. Today we will go over the 18 ways oversized loads are moved. Without further ado, let's get into the video. Kubler recently took on the responsibility of transporting a massive ship to its new home. They accomplished this by first detaching the upper deck from the hull and transporting it to a carrier. Kubler's B crew, on the other hand, was tasked with capturing the ship's hull. They ran many simulations before putting the loads en route to be able to move through this operation exactly. As a result, when the operations began, it was made easier for them. Filbermeyer GmbH was charged with transporting a 200-ton Polyol plant. This is for the principal products in the plastics production plant being built by the Hungarian Oil and Gas Corporation MOL. This will take you to a location 170 kilometers northeast of Budapest. This mechanism is supposed to transport the cargo from the crane to its destination. To prevent any hassles or issues, they have decided to employ marine routes instead of land routes. The project was completed in just five months thanks to their efforts and the capabilities of this 18-line SPMT. Modular trailers are also utilized in power plants, the chemical industry, the iron and steel industry, and the building industry. Modular trailers, on the other hand, cannot function independently of SPMTs. This is why they are partnered with trucks or tractors capable of pulling them. When they are united, they are known as road rails. Beelen Group is one of the most amazing suppliers of these road rails. They employed a notebook trailer with a Volvo FH750 in this operation to improve the transportation service and make it faster and more versatile. This has not only enhanced their speed, but also their efficiency tremendously. Bayo Brothers Crane and Rigging was tasked with transporting a 340,000-pound, 154.2-ton transformer from Rockledge to Gatco substation in Dilland. Their 400-ton capacity gantry system was put to the test in an emergency transit of the 23-foot or 7-meter-long transformer. The gantry system was used by Bayo Brothers cutting-edge cranes to load the transformer from the rail car onto its 128-wheeled Trail King TK600 trailer. They successfully delivered the transformer to the job site in only two days.
Furthermore, the Equinor Boca Vanguard ship was engaged in July 2019 to raise the 325-meter-long Carnival Vista. While sailing across the Caribbean, the Carnival Vista suffered mechanical problems. It weighed 133,500 tons, so lifting it with cranes was out of the question because it was nearly impossible. Fortunately, the bulk of Vanguard ship's semi-submersible hull allowed the operation to float on and float off. Only the top half of the ship's vertical structures remain above water. The bulk of the Boca Vanguard ballast tanks make this possible. Aside from that, the ballast tanks ensure the success of the previously described activities. The Emert International was once commissioned to transport this 154 feet long and 32.5 ton fuel tank from Los Angeles to California Space Station. It became a big operation not only because of its size, but because around 1.5 million people were watching it too. Luckily, the Emert transporter have successfully done its job on just 68 hours. Valor Logistics accepted the task of safely shipping these reclaimer machine parts. This is the 15th component of a reclaimer machine, as well as the heaviest component due to its 208-ton weight. Valor Logistics must deliver this without harm and in a safe manner. The objective was only 7 kilometers away, but due to the nature and difficulty of the operation, as well as other obstacles encountered, they were only able to accomplish it after eight months. They used the best mobile bridge systems available for this project, which is why it only took them two years to complete all of the machine's components at the assembly site.
The self-propelled modular transporter movement began in the early 20th century when self-propelled transport modules were used in shipbuilding. SPMTs, like the Hericat self-propelled transporters, transport these modules. Hericat provides services that are designed to help you with your heavy lifting and transport needs. They are proud of their equipment, which meets the highest international safety and quality standards. Edwards Moving and Rigging is best at hauling and rigging oversized items. For this, they use two different trailers, the Goldhofer Hydraulic Platform Trailers, which are used in transporting heavy loads. It has 90 degrees transverse steering, diagonal steering, and carousel steering functions. On top of that, each axle of its computerized electronic steering can steer more or less 135 degrees. Then, the Goldhofer THP trailers, whose cutting edge is on its 55-degree steering and ability to access public roads with ease. Electromagnets are used to study subatomic particles, which is why they are very important, yet it is very difficult to transport. In 2016, Emmert was tasked to transport a 50-feet-tall electromagnet for 3,200 miles until it reaches the Brookhaven National Laboratory in New York. The magnet was worth $30 million, and its transportation alone costs $3 million.
Cargo firms must take some precautions to ensure that the entire operation is safe and secure. One example is the measurement of all aspects of the freight. They measure it and record the data so that they can demonstrate it to authorities if they are asked to. During some of the same activities, officials block down or remove all traffic bridges along the route. However, transportation organizations, such as Omega Morgan, do not allow anything to be broken, even if they are transporting a 400-ton super bulk boat down a tight street. Transporting it from one location to another has been a difficult task due to its weight. As a result, the National Group has opted to simply remove its wheels prior to loading. Once that is determined, it is transported using a road rail propelled by two heavy vehicles to ensure greater safety, not just for the people surrounding it, but also for the operators, the police escorted this machine throughout its journey. In every nuclear power plant construction, they are required to have two feed water preheaters. Usually, each preheater weighs 26 tons and measures 10.2 meters long, 2.3 meters wide, and 2.8 meters high. To have a safe transportation of these, the Mamouet SPMTs are called. They have wheels that can turn 360 degrees together or separately. These units are also compatible with other SPMT units and can be operated via single remote. Gas or oil can be loaded onto ships and cranes for easier processing, but how does this actually work? Spars are usually built near the port so that they can easily slide to the water. Once that's done, the ships will drag them in deep water so that the carriers can lower it through water filling. Once it reaches a certain point, the water is pumped out and the superload is loaded up on the ship.
Last 2012, the Felbermeyer Group had to transport around 90 tons. This was something no one was ready to accept aside from them. They had to transport five 72-meter-long and 4-meter-long steel columns from the road to a factory and then return to the port again. After this, Felbermeyer was reported to be able to cater loads of up to 130 meters in length across Europe. With the Perkins 400-ton dual-lane unloading suspension beam with 48 axles called Road Train, they were able to transport a 637,000-pound load for over a year and a half. Even with that number, it is considered to be the fastest record Perkins has given that it was only allowed to move during the night. It is 391 feet long and 22 feet wide with suspension beams from above to ensure safe operations. The TTI Group's two intercombine trailers now feature the functionality of a modular trailer as well as an SPMT. Furthermore, it can serve as both when necessary. Their cargo weighed 132 tons and measured 7.1 meters in length, 6.6 .6 meters in breadth, and 5.4 meters in height. They successfully delivered the goods at the Heilbronn Harbor after traveling a 269-kilometer route. Now, let's look at this low loader from Sleepner, used for transportation of the crawlers. This specific low loader is best at doing its job thanks to its hydraulic units. 
Aside from that, the level of its height can also be adjusted through a ramp. Overall, this amazing machine can set your crawling machine for transport in just two minutes. Thank you for taking the time to watch Mighty Machines. Let us know what you thought of these innovations in the comments section below. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe to our channel so you can be updated with our content. See you next time.